Bunu sevmiyorum. 1093 yapmış. Ten Night at Three. Kim bu? O benim bağlı olduğum krallık. One eternity later. <laughs> What's going on, my beautiful governor? So that was a quick behind the scenes. I wanted to show you guys, but I have to go through every single day to make one video to make content. Like it's pretty challenging, but I still love it. Before we go into Q&A section, I need to thank some people. Well, first of all, obviously it is you because subscribers means a lot to me it's not because of the numbers it's not because of the exposure but when i when i wake up in the morning the first thing i do with my phone is checking my number of subscribers and every single time i get a new subscriber i still feel so good because this means our content is still providing value it's still helping to some people that's why it means a lot to me and thank you guys so much for subscribing to Spartan Gaming. Next up, we have our channel members. A special thank you to our channel members because you are financially supporting our channel, supporting Spartan Gaming, so we can get better every single day. Then we obviously have big boy Justin. Whenever I live stream, and I unfortunately I don't live stream much because I don't have the time, he comes in, he just sends 20 bucks uh, with a super sticker just to support the stream. Justin, thank you so much for supporting not only me, pretty much the whole Rise of Kingdoms content creation community because this guy does the same thing for pretty much any streamer. So if you want 20 bucks every single time you live stream, you better stream Rise of Kingdoms and make sure Justin is a weaver. I'm just joking. Thank you so much for being here and helping us. Then we have these guys, Mikael and TJ Boylan. These guys are the whole reason why our Discord is super active and live. There are tons of guides and discussions on our Discord. Link is in the description if you would like to join TJ and Mikael, thank you guys so much. Last but not least, my wife. Yes, I want to thank my wife because last year on my birthday, she got my first ever beginner content creation gear. Like it was super cheap gear, but it was enough for me to start. And she was very supportive with the whole thing. So yeah, thank you, baby. I love you. Now let's hop into Q&A section. First question is from CR6Q. Congratulations on 10K. Thank you. When did you start playing rock? How much time did you use to spend in game before YouTube? And how much time do you spend now as a content creator? The, the answer to the second question is funny because since I have a very limited time, now I'm playing the game even less because I have to use that time to make content. When I started, I think it was three years ago. What's your wife's opinion about you being a content creator and ROK in general? As you can tell from the start of the video, she doesn't know anything about Rise of Kingdoms. What commander investment do you regret the most? I don't regret expertizing any of my commanders, but the only thing is maybe Attila Takeda was a little bit too greedy for the kills. Maybe instead of them, I should have gone for a heavy skill damage march. That could be maybe my only regret. Equipment, accessories you should use in KVK 1, 2, 3, please. I have to skip that because video is coming soon. Congratulations, brother. Apocalypse Gaming, like this guy's energy is crazy. Go ahead and check out Apocalypse Gaming. Like he's so fun to watch. Unfortunately, when he streams, I'm usually asleep. So shout out to Apocalypse Gaming. I go first. What is your profession? Soon. To which kingdom would you migrate if 1093 wouldn't exist and why? The thing is, I really don't have a lot of idea about other kingdoms because I've been with 1093 for so long. But what I would do in general if I decided to migrate, I would probably just talk with other players that I know and ask them to recommend me a kingdom. That's probably what I would do. And since I said I don't have a lot of idea, a lot of knowledge about other kingdoms, I cannot answer the second question, why? Best commander for KVK 1 through 3, gotta be YSG. Do you still enjoy Rise of Kingdoms or you just play it for the content? Not at all. If I wouldn't enjoy playing Rise of Kingdoms, I wouldn't be able to make content because then it feels like a chore and I hate it. I already have a super busy life. I do it because I really enjoy playing and making content. Raptor, you deserve it. He's one of the OG viewers on our channel. Like He's been with us over a year. Raptor, thank you so much. Noth22, if you were a pizza, what kind of a flavor would you be? That's a weird question. I think I will be a margarita because... 
I'm a simple guy. How long you and your wife been together? Does she also play Rise of Kingdoms with you? Fortunately, no, she doesn't play Rise of Kingdoms. She's not addicted like me. And we've been together for almost nine years and married for four years. What the monthly annual budget will be in 2023 for Rise of Kingdoms? I think he's asking for my monthly budget spending on Rise of Kingdoms. I think it's not going to change. Still between like 20 bucks to 100 bucks, depending on the pop-ups. Oh, here's my favorite question. Here are some questions I want to ask. Hope you will answer all of them. I will try not to go personal. What is your real name? Here it is. Yes, your name. What is your IP address? And I would like to know what is your credit slash debit card details. You can see the details on your screen right now. He actually has some serious questions. So how much have you spent on Rise of Kingdoms till now? I really have no idea. And I don't want to go back and look at it. Since I'm a low spender, I kind of looked at like, okay, this weekend I decided to stay home. No going out, no drinking, no spending money outside. Instead, I spent that weekend's money on Rise of Kingdoms and I can enjoy the game for a whole month. That's how I look at it. What is your person? <laughs> Next question. What is your favorite food and is 5111 Guan? <laughs> like, what, what is the connection in, in two questions? What is your favorite food and is 5111 Guan good with unmaxed CPO? Guan Yu with his first skill max is pretty good in early season of Conquest KVKs, but if you are coming up against older kingdoms, it's not going to be enough. My advice is if you're going to use Guan and CPO together, my advice is to max them both. And my favorite food has to be a well-marinated salmon. I just love seafood. Where did you meet with your wife and can we meet her on a stream? I don't think she will agree, but I will ask her. And I met her at the birthday of our mutual friend. What is your job and why don't you make content in Turkish? I'm working in a textile company, a clothing brand, and I'm the global marketing manager. And the reason why I don't make content in Turkish, because why would I limit my content to a language? Thanks to me creating content in English, I get to chat with you guys all day with the comments or the live chat. Would you bring your new jumper account to 3043? It is too late. We are in 3052. Workout routine. Hmm. I might actually share that in future. Have infantry players been screwed again? Latest commanders don't seem to be worthy investments for field fighting. It's a dilemma. So I agree that infantry mains are kind of screwed, but I still think until very late on the game, infantry still for free-to-play and low spenders are the best troop type. So is it best to use CPO YSG in Season of Conquest? Not at all. It is best to use Guan Yu with CPO or YSG with Boudica. What do you know about Turkey? I live in Turkey. <laughs> I would like to have a paid quick coaching session. Please reply, I already did. If you guys need account coaching, my Patreon link is in the description. A quick sellout. Where do you live? What country? I live in Turkey. Jinobi says, who am I? How am I supposed to know? I love this question. Why Spartan gaming? Because I always love that ancient Sparta and Spartans in general. I don't know. They are like, you know, ultimate males, right? Like Andrew Tate living in ancient Greece. So yeah, I mean, I, I cannot explain exactly why, but I just love Sparta and Spartans. So that was it. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. Obviously, this is not an end. This is a beginning. Next goal is 10,001 subscribers. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.